Jodie Whittaker Doctor Who's 13th Time Lord To be a woman Jodie Whittaker has been announced as Doctor Who's 13th Time Lord, the first woman to be given the role. The new Doctor's identity was revealed in a trailer broadcast at the end of the Wimbledon men's singles final. The Broadchurch star succeeds Peter Capaldi, who took over the role in 2013 and leaves in the forthcoming Christmas special. Whittaker, 35, said it was overwhelming, as a feminist to become the next Doctor. She will make her debut on the sci-fi show when the Doctor regenerates in the Christmas special. All the Doctors so far, from Hartnell to Whittaker Time Lord's new gender splits Doctor Who fans the Huddersfield-born star who was a late favorite to become the Doctor, will find a familiar face for her on set. Doctor Who's new showrunner is Broadchurch creator Chris Chibnall. Whitaker said, I'm beyond excited to begin this epic journey, with Chris and with every Hovian on this planet. It's more than an honor to play the Doctor. It means remembering everyone I used to be, while stepping forward to embrace everything the Doctor stands for, hope. I can't wait. The actress also shares another broad church link with Doctor Who, co-star David Tennant was the 10th Doctor. Analysis by Liza Mzimba, BBC Entertainment correspondent It was always unlikely that the Doctor would continue to be white and male, especially as the BBC has committed itself to greater diversity on its programs. Casting the first female Doctor is something many viewers have been calling for and strong female-led stories have been successful on the big and small screen in recent years, in films ranging from The Hunger Games and Star Wars to Wonder Woman, and in TV series like Game of Thrones. The BBC will be hoping today's announcement will not just excite viewers, but will also demonstrate that the time travel show has firmly moved into the 21st century. Whitaker said it felt incredible to take on the role, saying, it feels completely overwhelming as a feminist, as a woman, as an actor, as a human, as someone who wants to continually push themselves and challenge themselves, and not be boxed in by what you're told you can and can't be. And she told fans not to be scared by her gender. Because this is a really exciting time, and Doctor Who represents everything that's exciting about change, she said, adding, the fans have lived through so many changes, and this is only a new, different one not a fearful one. Whitaker said she had used the codename Clooney when discussing the part with her husband and agent, as actor George is an iconic guy. Image caption Peter Capaldi will bow out in this year's Christmas special, featuring David Bradley as the first Dr. Chignall said the 13th Doctor was always going to be a woman. He said, I always knew I wanted the 13th Doctor to be a woman and we're thrilled to have secured our number one choice. Her audition for the Doctor simply blew us all away. Jodie is an in-demand, funny, inspiring, super smart force of nature and will bring loads of wit, strength and warmth to the role. The 13th Doctor is on her way. Chibnall is taking over from Stephen Moffat, who leaves the series at the same time as Capaldi. Capaldi, who had said he wanted to see a woman replace him, said, Anyone who has seen Jodie Whittaker's work will know that she is a wonderful actress of great individuality and charm. She has above all the huge heart to play this most special part. She's going to be a fantastic doctor. Image Copyright Twitter, B. Piper Image Copyright Twitter Freema official former companions Billy Piper and Karen Gillan had called for a female Time Lord while Doctor Who and Sherlock writer Mark Gaddis said it was the perfect time for a woman to take the lead role. After the announcement, Piper tweeted the word, yes with a red rose emoji, while fellow former companion Freema Ajiman tweeted, change isn't a dirty word. It's about time image copyright Getty Images dedicated Hovians were quick to react to the news of Jodie Whittaker taking over the TARDIS. On social media, some said it would encourage them to watch the show for the first time, but others said the casting meant they would be switching off, and that the Doctor should be played by a man. Carla Joanna tweeted to say that she would be tuning in and that the trailer made me choke up a little. Another tweeter, Ayad, said, I don't even watch Doctor Who but a woman Doctor is so cool. But Samantha Melton said, I am a woman and a feminist but I don't want a female Doctor.
To me it's trying too hard to tick the boxes. Doctor Who writer Jenny Colgan, who has written for the series books and audio dramas, said, I am of course incredibly excited the new Doctor is a woman, Stephen Moffat has been paving the way for this for ages and it is absolutely about time. I can't imagine what it's like for Jodie, she must be so scared and excited all at once, but I couldn't be happier, and 100% can't wait to write for her dog Will Howells, who writes for the Doctor Who magazine and has been a fan for 25 years, said, in 2017, there shouldn't be anything major about a TV series changing from a male lead to a female one. We'll also maybe see a solo male companion as a regular feature for the first time. I don't think it's a risky choice at all, but if a show that can go anywhere and do anything can't take risks, what can? Science fiction and fantasy author Paul Cornell said, It's always been time for a woman doctor and it's great we got there. Well done to Stephen Moffat for laying the groundwork. She's going to be amazing. And that first episode of hers is going to get a lot of new people watching. Actress Olivia Coleman, who starred in a Doctor Who episode and was one of the possible candidates for the role, said it was a classy decision. The creatives made the right decision that the part should be a woman and it's about time, she told BBC News. She added that those unhappy about Whitaker being the new Time Lord should leave her alone and let her do her job brilliantly. Whitaker starred as Beth Latimer in the three series of the ITV crime drama Broadchurch, as the mother of a murdered boy. As well as TV work, Whitaker has appeared on the big screen, in one day, Attack the Block and St. Drinians. She made her film debut in 2006 as Venus. Opposite Peter O apostrophe tool. Traditionally, each doctor has their own distinctive look, raising questions about the cloak Whitaker wears in the trailer. However, she has said it is not part of her official Doctor Who outfit, and that she does not yet know what she will wear. Follow us on Facebook, on Twitter at Bgnusence, or on Instagram at Bgnusence. If you have a story suggestion email entertainment.news at bbc.co.uk.